Hey Golf Pass, Chris Como here, and we're gonna use a tennis racket today to get a feel for how to hit a nice draw with an iron. A compressed draw, one where you have a little bit of lean in the shaft, the ball starts right out of the target, curves back, if you're a right-hand golfer. So you're gonna take this racket, and I want you to feel like you're doing a top spin overhand. So the feeling will be that the face of the racket is coming in, leaning down, and you're gonna feel like you have an upward motion and you're gonna almost try, try, try to create a, a, a curving to the left spin, a hook spin with that, that racket. So when you're doing that, it's a little bit of a, coming into, into impact, a little bit of a low to high sort of feeling with your whole body, as well as making sure that the face is down as the club's going up, and you're trying to curve it to the left for a right-handed golfer again, or right-handed tennis player in this instance. So where if we take this to a golf swing, the idea is that that racket pointing down is actually gonna help us square the face a little bit earlier. And then this motion through the ball is gonna help us get our body going into extension through our hips and our th spine a little bit, as well as making sure that the hand path through the shot is working a little bit up and around. The face is squaring through that feeling of the, the, the racket turned down, and then we're going up and around, and that's gonna allow us to square the face, close the face relative to the path without flipping the hands through impact. So what we don't want to do is be hitting draws where we're scooping our wrists. So it's a great way to get that sense. And the whole idea is we have to get the face close to the path, but in order to start this ball right of the target, the face has to be a little bit right of the target at impact, and the club path even more to the right than where the face is at. So now, even though I'm trying to go up with my hands and my body, because we have some motion in the wrist, vertically, the club head will still be going down, so we can still take a divot, and I have a sense of hitting a topspin overhand, but because we have loft in the club, the ball's still gonna have backspin. So again, this is just a feel to create the right impact, but technically speaking, the hands go up, the club is still going down, and the face it has loft, so we're not actually hitting topspin. So let's try and give this a go. Get in there. I'm gonna recreate that feeling of a topspin overhand and see if I can have a finish again where the club isn't on the other side of the hands and still get this ball to start right at this alignment stick and come back. All right, and that was perfect. Started a little bit right of the stick, came back, took a little bit of a divot, and I had a fall through where it didn't have any sort of flip in the release. It's a great way to train the right impact and still gain that face close to the path but having the face have the correct alignment relative to the target to start it right and bring it back on the target.